Oh, good evening from Norway. Oh, it's two in the clock um, at night in Norway. But I can't wait tomorrow to show you the new feature in Stickman uh, 5.6 Alpha. I talked uh, earlier about the drawing tool where we can create uh, drawings and uh, let's start with that I create the canvas and I draw something like um, a pipe for example uh, then I want to fill the outside with a color um, then I add a figure. Let's see. This one. And um, before you, uh, the new feature, I'm not going to tell it yet, but you have to select matrix tool add the uh, keyframe key and you move it to where you want to start the animation and uh, with the matrix tool selected you can select a start relation at the left side and then you choose canvas root And then uh, you select canvas animation and slide now you see a blue circle around the ball And uh, hit play, and you will see it drop and fall down in an animation. Click OK, and then space. And Stickman have added these keyframes. If you select uh, the American football, you see a lot of lot of keyframes, and uh, if uh, your animation is short, but you simulate a longer animation, it will expand the setting automatically. You can adjust the start and end here. Uh, no, I uh, undo it because I want to show you another thing. Let's say that you first want to animate the ball. Like this. And you want to simulate from here. You just select the canvas. Go to animate, slide. and play and stickman will use it will calculate the velocity of the ball and use that in the simulation
it's not perfect yet, but um, because uh, you can't uh, make uh, a very smooth transition between no gravity and gravity. That's better. Let's say you can use the the path tool. But then you need to remove the start relation to manipulate it. So when you got the path straight, it will look more smoothly. Yeah, it also depends on the um, then there is two frames beside each other they kill the smoothness so it's not um, very good at uh, exactly this thing but I can show you there I can show you you can, you can rotate the ball First, select the canvas, animation on slide. And it also uses the rotation of the ball. Uh, the rotation is not, uh, it's a simplified, it's not um, realistic, so. I will uh, continue to do some research on it. But now I want to remove the ball and I want to show you What happens with a statement figure if you use let's say okay, let's move the keyframe to the beginning. Create a stop relation. And we select the canvas. And open the slide window. You will see uh, for each control point uh, at the root there's a spear. And the slide window is detecting automatically and the if a figure has control points, it will suggest you can change it to spare and you can make the radius bigger like this. But no, I'm going to just have it. Let's try 15. When you hit play and he falls and slides. Okay, um, this is the result. Let me try.
have very uh, small spares. And then they fall different. If you have a thin line, you will it will have problems by uh, can pass right through. So we have to experiment and at different settings. Here we see his legs and arms are going through the so the spears cannot be too small. And uh, if you notice the gravity, I have not um, put in adjustment of gravity yet. But um, I'm going to do that soon. So this was the slide tool. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, uh, stick this uh, alpha. This feature will be added to Sigma Alpha today. So you can go to cutterpro.com and download. Or uh, um, stickman-animations.com uh, Thanks for watching.